Hi, this is Sarilyn, and I'm excited to introduce Stephanie Beckett, and she is going to teach us the script that we want to say when we're calling people back after the lead box. Steph, let's talk a little bit about the importance of our voices. Sure. Uh, you take it away. Thank you for doing this for us. Yeah, no problem. Well, first of all, I just want to say that this this script is not mine. I actually got it from a friend in our previous business and um, I was sworn to not change these words because they truly are magic words. So, um, you know, there's, there's a few words that you might change just to make it sound more like you or as you're, as you're reading it, it might be more comfortable for you to say it a certain way, but try to stick to this script. Um, I don't know what the magic is, but it definitely um, seems to help when you follow this script. I think it's a whole system two stuff. You know what I mean? It's yeah, important. absolutely. There's definitely steps that go to right. it. And, and we're walking exactly. through all these steps for you. But the other thing is that when you have a script like this, really, you got to mm -hmm. promise us that you'll read it three times. So read it once sitting there quietly, read it, read it the next time in front of a mirror, read it the third time in front of a mirror. And, and that way you'll find yourself looking up less and less, you know, or looking down less, less and less looking up in the mirror more. And it gets to where it gets in your a, a, mar, a part of like you speaking well with it. it. It sounds like you're a script reader if you try to stay too not in your own words, but it is crucial that you read it three. And if you can read it four times and then every time you go to do it, read it one time before you, you know, before you start talking to people. So, yeah. And you definitely need to um, make sure that, um, you reach out to a friend. Sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying to get this out of full screen so I can get my script up. Um, you need to make sure that you call a friend and tell them what you're doing and say, can I just call you and like practice on you? Because you need to be able to do it over the phone a couple times too. Like it's really important to do it in the mirror first, but then call a friend and do it on a live person or call your upline or whoever recruited you or um, somebody that you trust that you can just kind of practice a couple times over the phone too. Good idea. Good idea. So we're just going to pretend that I'm um, making a phone call. I'm just pulling Sarah Lynn's name out of the bag and I'm calling her on her phone and she's going to answer. And what I found is most people are completely annoyed because they think it's just another sales call. You know, Heather from cardholder services, right? Not, we know it's not like that, but they don't. So, um, Sarah Lynn's going to be my guinea pig, and we're just going to say her phone's ringing now. Hello. Oh, hi. Am I speaking with Sarah Lynn? You are. Hi, Sarah Lynn. My name is Stephanie, and I am working with ABC Nails, where you get your nails done. Um, they are doing a customer appreciation event, and I'm really excited today because you were actually one of my winners for this week's drawing. Okay. Is now a good time for you to talk? I just want to go over with you what you've won and let you know how to get your gifts. Mm, yeah, I have a few minutes. Okay, great. I won't take up too much of your time. Um, what you've won is a 90-minute spa session. I live here locally, and I run a mobile spa business out of my home, which means I can bring the day spa right to you. And what you've won is an hour of pampering that includes a mini facial, you get anti-aging treatments, some relaxation session, a little gentle hand massage. Does that sound incredible? Yes. Okay. Well, the best part is, is that you don't have to do this alone. You get to give this gift to up to four of your most stressed out friends. Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, um, what, uh, in addition to doing this, I'm just going to give you a very special gift just to say thank you. And you're also going to get a gift card to go back to your nail salon. Um, as I mentioned, this is a thank you gift from them. So, um, I will be giving you a gift card when I come along with a little special gift. So Sarah Lynn, there's nothing that you need to do for this session except sit back, be pampered, and relax. And I just need to know if daytimes or evenings work best for you. Evenings. Evenings, great. Well, the first two evening dates that I have open are Wednesday or uh, I have next Monday. Would either of those be better for you? Monday. Monday, great. So what I've got you down for is Monday, and that is uh, 6.30. Is that okay for you? Yes, that'll work. Perfect. 
and I just need to get your address and I will bring everything. There's nothing for you to do. Just make sure, um, just I'll touch with you maybe the day before and just see if you're going to have any friends join you. If you're not able to get any friends, that's totally fine. I'm happy to come and just meet you and give you this gift. And again, I just want to say thank you on behalf of the nail salon for um, being a customer of theirs. And I can't wait to meet you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, Steph, so let me back you up and hit you with some what ifs. <laughs> because you do so good at that. Oh my goodness, you're smooth as silk. Well, and I kind of, I kind of strayed a little bit from my, um, my script. I'm not used to reading the script. I've done it so many times that right. I kind of just, you know, I didn't see a stray and I was like reading it right <laughs> along with you. So you, you stuck to it pretty good for as, as smooth as that was. I would never have guessed how close it was. So here's the first thing. When you said um, $10 gift card, do, does every single person get one of those? Yeah, so this part, you need to make it your own and you need to do what's best for your pocketbook. Not everybody's gonna be able to afford to pay for a $10 appointment. I mean, basically what this, what this lead bag is gonna do is not gonna guarantee you anything except the opportunity to get in front of people. Right. I don't want anybody to ever think, well, I did lead bags and nobody bought anything. It just cost me a bunch of money, so I'm not gonna do it anymore. That's not what the lead bag should be for. The lead bag should simply be an opportunity for you to get in front of people. The sales are just a bonus. So if you can afford to give a $10 gift card just for holding their date, you can totally do that. At one point in time, I was doing um, just, I was doing a $25 monthly draw. Okay. And I only drew names from the girls that held their appointments and had, and had orders from their party. Mm -hmm. So, and then Did you word it that way when you called them then? Yeah, I would just tell them, you know, you're going to get a, I would always take them a hostess gift. So they'd always get like our favorite things bag or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, then I would tell them, you know, when you hold your party, you're actually going to, or when you hold your appointment, I never called it a party, but I would say when you hold your appointment, you're also going to be entered to win a gift certificate for $25 back at the nail salon. So oh, I love that too. That's cool. So figure out what's going to work best for you. Um, if, if you're desperate for them and you want to guarantee you're going to get some bookings, then right. I would give that five or $10 gift card. Right. Um, you don't even have to tell them how much it is. Just yeah. tell them to get a gift card. Right. They don't, they're, you know, they're, they're, they might be disappointed if it's just five bucks, but it's better than nothing. So um, what I found is that they came not really knowing what they were getting into, right. but once they left, they really didn't care because right. they had a great time. Right. Their friends enjoyed it. They loved the products and right. they always felt really good when they left. Cool. So, so in the number one thing that I believe that people would say, and you've got it typed out here, so it must have been something that a lot of people said to you, was, um, is this like Mary Kay or is this Mary Kay? And I would always just kind of chuckle and say, that is a really great question. And no, this is not Mary Kay. Okay. I do have a very specific line of products that I use, but this is purely a gift from ABC Nail Salon. It's okay. a customer appreciation event that they're doing. They just want to make you feel loved and pampered and give you a gift of relaxation that you can share with up to five of your girlfriends. Cool. Love that. And I don't ever mention any sales of any type in there because I, again, I don't want it to sound sales pitchy. Right. This is purely an opportunity for me to get my foot in the door, introduce myself as a business person, and try to make new contacts while I'm giving that gift of relaxation to women. The, okay. sales, the sales will come if you keep that as your focus. Wow, that's excellent stuff. All right, I think we got it. This is great. Thank you so much for this, for this tool. You're absolutely welcome.